Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon where you are in the world uh, and watching this podcast. I'm Associate Professor Richard Franklin. I'm also the convener of the World Safety 2020 Conference to be held in Adelaide uh, in November. Well, big news, we've extended the abstracts and you have five days to go. So today is the 10th of March. The abstracts will close on the 15th. We won't be able to extend them uh, again, unfortunately, because we need to let people know to get visas, to sort out scholarships, uh, and to generally organise the conference. So get your abstracts in, you've got five days to go. The call out is to you to get in and get involved. Um, and obviously we want to see your work as part of the conference. So that does come down to, I've had a few questions about the scholarships. We will make, be making an announcement shortly, but to be in the running for a scholarship, you absolutely need to get your abstract in. For those of you that are out there uh, keeping an eye on the literature, it's very exciting um, to jump on today on the 10th and have a look at the injury prevention website. And I, I know with interest um, some very early papers which they uh, have coming through. Um, a couple just to, from my perspective, obviously well done to um, Stacey Pigeon, who's one of my PhD students, uh, looking around drowning and particularly high risk populations and thinking a little bit more critically about uh, migrants, about uh, Aboriginal Torres Strait Islanders and those look, living in rural areas. So great to see that come out today. and. Um, a really important study and well done to you, Stacey. The other thing that I was just having a read about um, is trampoline injuries. And what amazes me about the injury prevention space is we kind of think that we've got things um, you know, under control and with the, injury, with the trampoline paper, there's some really nice downward trends and then it starts to go up again. And obviously exposure is a key issue and something that we'll hopefully tackle in the conference when we start to think about how do we measure exposure? What does it look like? Um, you know, what do you do to do this in a better way? We do some really great epidemiological studies. Um, but what we're also talking about when we think about the future of it, and what for me was really interesting about this paper, um, is that if you start to look at it, there obviously uh, intake or, or increase in the number of people that are uh, doing recreational trampolining, but not at home in facilities. Um, and this has then led to an increase in the number of people being injured in these facilities. And you can see from their their figures that there's been an increase since 2011. It's just been slowly going up. Now, I wonder if you know if we were to look at the number of people visiting these sorts of facilities and had some data on that, whether we would have been able to predict that there would be this uh, increase kind of coming through. The other thing is that um, home trampoline injuries were going down um, and really at the, were at their lowest in 2015 and started to go up. Is this a reflection um, of people doing it both uh, in a facility and then kind of say, I really love this, I'd like to do it at home. And so are we now seeing this uh, reciprocated because of other things going on uh, within obviously the US is where this data comes from. But for me, re again, really interesting thinking about, you know, how do we look at the future and the things that are gonna impact us um, and impact injury. And this is one of the themes that we've got coming through the Safety 2020 conference and thinking about, well, how do we, in an effective way, look at the future. And so, again, well done. Have a read of that article, Demographic Changes in US Trampoline-Related Injuries from 1998 to 2017, a cause um, for alarm. The other thing uh, is, is really great to see is obviously um, there's the Globe Burden of Disease studies that have just starting to come through. Um, the facial fractures one is just out today. Uh, last few weeks we've seen falls, um, drowning, uh, and also interestingly, uh, one from Nepal, and also one uh, coming out of Vietnam, not global burden of disease related, um, but again, coming out and thinking about emerging trends from a decade of economic achievement. All great studies and hopefully, call out to you that have been writing these papers, that you might put um, these in for us to hear a little bit more about your thoughts more widely around the paper and what they mean. Also, just wanted to let you know that we are having a masterclass on uh, injury prevention. It'll be on the, the Saturday before the conference. We'll have workshops Sunday morning, and then Sunday afternoon, we're gonna launch into the conference, have the welcome, have a keynote, and then have a welcome reception for you. Um, you also have trade. So again, if you're out there listening to this and would like to have a, uh, a, a booth or a pod at the conference, please uh, either jump on the website or contact me or uh, Nicole uh, as the conference organizer and let her know your interest in being part of the event. Um, again, just letting you know, there is a writing retreat afterwards, so plan your trip. Now, for those that have been keeping an eye on, on Australia, the bushfires are out. Really, what we do need is for you to come and visit us and, and help. And a lot of those areas which have been uh, ravaged by the bushfires need the tourists to come back because that's what they rely on to uh, help pump up their economy 
uh, around that. But this leads me to the wider thing is that we are gonna have a strong theme around climate change. Um, this is on top of some of the other things like falls and drowning and road safety and workplace health and safety, um, children, safe communities, um, a whole range of other things. I can't mention them all now, but we are gonna do this. So if you've got something where you're thinking about what's the impact of climate change uh, on injuries, we'd be really interested to hear you uh, come through. There's also gonna be a strong youth section. So um, if you're an early career researcher or a PhD person, this is a conference for you to come along to. We've got a couple of events already planned, hopefully a meet and greet, um, as well as some older people um, with some older or more mature or more experienced uh, people that have been working in the injury prevention area so you can meet them and get their thoughts and ideas about how to work. Um, and we're also looking at a meet the uh, editors of the journal. So a great opportunity to come along uh, and meet some of those people who obviously look after the journals for you as part of that, that process. Um, so again, they're the main things that I wanted to talk about is to say, you know, really we need your abstract, we need you to get in. If you are thinking about uh, putting an abstract, you've got five days to do it in. So uh, get in, beat the rush, uh, make sure that it's in system um, as part of the process. We're also still looking for uh, reviewers. So this is your chance to be involved in the conference, uh, to review some of the abstracts and see what's going on. Uh, we're putting this together and hopefully this will um, move along to other conferences as part of the way that they work. But it's important for you to be involved. This is our conference, as I've uh, said in the previous vodcast. Um, you know, I'm just kind of the conduit for this and you obviously hear a lot from me, but I need your ideas, I need your help. I need you to be running workshops. I need you to be um, putting in abstracts. I need you to obviously come along and be part of the conference. And we're really looking at quite a dynamic conference, not, not just a static talk and chalk as we call it in academia. Um, we're wanting to have lots of workshops, lots of engagement, um, lots of things kind of going on. And that includes the media awards. Uh, so they're being advertised again. So please, uh, if you are involved in that stage of things, think about putting something in for the media award and then come along to the conference to see what other people are, are doing and being as part of the process. So I welcome you to Adelaide. I hope to see you in Adelaide. You'll see me on some future um, vodcasts, but just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Abstracts close in five days. Please get them in. If you've got a workshop idea, please let me know. Um, if you want to become a, a supporter of the conference or ha have a um, booth, please let me know about that. We're really interested uh, in doing that. And if you've got some idea that you want to work with me on um, to really try and, and extend the area of injury prevention, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for workshops that get us thinking, how do we use the data? What does the future look like? How do we prevent stuff? How do we work on the ground with people? Um, how do we work in with the Millennium De Development Goals? However, don't be put off by what we put on the website around the abstracts. We're interested in everything. It's just there as a guide to help you um, put something in. So if you're not confident, just put something in. Um, you won't be penalized for it. We're looking for great ideas and we're really looking for the whole spectrum of um, injury prevention things from policy, um, practice through to the academic uh, research side of it. So I welcome you. Looking forward to catching up with you in Adelaide. Looking forward to talking to you in future vodcasts. Thank you very much. Um, and please keep an eye out for future things going on with the conference. Look forward to chatting to you. Um, good afternoon, good evening, good morning from me. Hopefully your day, week and month are great. And in the next five days, you put in an abstract. Thank you all very much. Bye.